Behind the Shades. And I'm wondering how many people are not able to experience what you've experienced or how many people are not able to just say, this isn't me. And the Mm -hmm. reason why they're unable to say that is because you raised a, such a beautiful point is that someone somewhere told me my life should be like this, even though it may not be the life I want because my mom told me, my dad told me, my brother, my corporate job, my priest, my imam, all these people told me that go to school, Mm. get a job, graduate, get a job, get married, have children, get the dog, white picket fence. And when you retire, you better cross your fingers and hope to die that your children love you. (laughs) Right. But when they hear that, that's perfectly fine for some people. Like I don't have children and, I, and I'm not married, but I'm happy. I'm having the time of my life speaking to you. I love doing what I'm doing right now, but it's a little bit different than the norm, but I'm okay with that because I know that all of this is something that I created and this is my baby instead of having children. So yeah. when you helping people, Jenny, when you're experiencing this, when you're sharing your side, Did you ever think you would be where you are today, inspiring people to change their mornings and ultimately change their life? No, (laughs) absolutely not. Um, I guess at that point, uh, when I started, honestly, I was in, um, you know, what people call the dark night of the soul, right? Um, It was just really hard for me to get out of bed Um, But I also realized that I cannot keep living like this anymore. Um, And I think like something that I felt like, oh, my God, like the whole thing is so depressing. And what can I do right now to be like, you know, lighten up the energy a little bit. Um, And so I just turn on some music. And that music just felt like, okay, that, that this music kind of moves me. And I feel like just moving my hips a little bit and my shoulders a little bit. Oh, this is fun. Okay. I should do this a little more. Right. And that kind of like, you know, kind of, uh, it, it became 10 minutes of me just moving my body and um, just flowing the music. I should do this more often, but that was just me stepping out of my usual habit it was like getting up get my coffee rush to work and all of that um but I chose to um do something different you know step out of my hamster wheel right and that what changed everything to me because then I realized like hey this is so much more fun than just like rushing and stressing out in the morning right um and so Um, I I guess I could also, again, talk about like why in the morning, right? I also mentioned earlier how the morning is the time when your brain is the the, the most sensitive, um, whatever seeds that you put in there, like that's what grows, um, that's what easily goes the most, right? But also, um, The morning is a time when the world is asleep and you get some more time to be with yourself. And this is the biggest thing that I feel is the problem with the world, why they're like abusing us, why they're like abusing each other because they don't know how to be kind to each other. It is also because they don't know how to connect with themselves and to know what makes them the happiest, right? But the morning, because when the world is sleeping, you get to know that there's nothing else but you and yourself. And you can sit with your feelings. You can sit with yourself. You can connect with yourself and then learn what makes you the happiest. Because when you know how to be kind to yourself, you know how to connect with other people. When you know, only when you know how to connect with yourself, 
right? Then when you know how to treat yourself with kindness and respect and you know how to have fun, then later on when you go out in the world, <laughs> hey, you know, everyone is just similar like you. You connect with other people just the way you connect with yourself, right? And I feel that that is the key of solving all this um, violence in the world, right? And when we want to talk about like how this um, affects leadership, um, a lot of people feel like leadership is like, you know, how I control people, you know, according to the standard that I set. But you know what? These people that you consider as subordinates, they are just like you, right? You only get to create this world um, that is ideal only when you know how to connect with yourself. Then you know how to then interact and connect with the people that you're supposed to lead. Thank <laughs> you.